Hey guys, MTG Noob here on the draw. Uh, my opponent keeps. I'll keep as well. I don't really love this hand. Uh, if I rip like land, land, we're really kind of screwed. But right now we're okay. Uh, I would love to draw a shrine eventually. Another land is not good, especially an off color land, since we already have both wolf runs now. So we have a noble. He plays out an island. Turn two, we'll consider a Lava Mancer if he doesn't play a Swamp here, but, you know, he's got a Catacomb, so not much we could do. Uh, this is a pretty hard matchup. I probably should have sided in some Ancient Grudges. That's a smart play there. Um, I would have waited till my attack step, just in case now I can line, land a Shrine if I resolved one. Um, we, we don't really have anything else. We'll just play this out. I probably should have, you know brought in ancient grudges i was for whatever reason not really thinking like i know he has batter skull and worm coil so that's something to consider in the next game if it goes to the next game um in real life i don't think i would have punted that so hard but you know hey what can you do okay hopefully he doesn't have a dissipate here getting our guy dissipated would be pretty awful i'm also not gonna lead on that i have a Wolf run just yet. Play that out on turn four. More is like a shock. Okay, don't get dissipated. All right. So let's smash in for three. We might just get lucky this game and get to hopefully kill him. Clicking fast so he doesn't get to do much. It's a, it's a trick I have. All right, hopefully that's just a thing twice. Okay. So if he plays Batter Skull, we're a little bit screwed. Uh, if he plays, like, Black Sun for two here, you know, we're okay. Hopefully, what is that? Bloodline Keeper? Ooh, look at that. That's good. I like that. All right. Well, that kind of screwed us, but now we get to Hell Ride, and then hopefully we just keep ripping stuff now because we're going to be very sad if he plays a Batter Skull next turn. Sever of the Bloodline is pretty nice. It uh, beats the crap out of tokens. Okay, so he lets our Phoenix resolve, and now we play out a Wolf Run. We don't want to be ripping Fire Slingers this late in the game. We can get in here with, um, you know, a two-power Lava Mancer if we really wanted to, but I, I don't think I'm going to be that greedy. I think I'll just play out a Hell Rider. He's not low enough where this is really very effective. Um, I don't think we're going to win this game. That's my prediction. I'm going to try like hell to win this game, but I don't think that's my... I don't think that's in the future unless we rip, like, really well. Okay, because if he plops down next turn Batter Skull or next turn Black Sun for three, we're just, like, super blown out. And we have, like, a Fire Slinger, and we, we can make it decent, you know, with, uh, with Wolf Run, but nothing too special. All right, so he's down to 11. And next turn, we'll see what he does, and then that will help us make a decision on what we're doing. Okay, so he plops down his land. This is probably going to be pretty painful. Okay, he's reconsidering. Yep, it's got to be a Black Sun for three. Okay, it figures, not much we could do about that. Two for ones are, you know, pretty obvious. Okay, let's just rip a phoenix. I will overextend here because, do I really want to? Let me think. No, you know what, I'm not going to overextend. I'm just going to force him to deal with this phoenix now. Um, problem is if he has another black sun, then he just really blows us out and we have nothing in hand. If he doesn't have a black sun, then I think it's correct to overextend here. So we're going to try to overextend here because then I can put dump man into two attackers. But if, you know, if he hits us with something, we're screwed. This is going to be really good against us. Okay, he's got a ghost court. He might ghost court or a wolf run. Which is fine, because we'll just play out another one. 
I'd actually prefer him to thin out our deck for us. As long as he doesn't play a worm coil here. Don't play worm coil. We play alright, black sun for two. Alright, so got a little punish there. Nothing. You know, what could we do outside of that? Hopefully we just rip burn. Okay, we rip another land. Uh we're gonna play it out. At this point he gets to pull very far ahead, I would say, if he has anything. Hopefully he doesn't have anything. He does have a thing twice in the yard, so that's kinda bad for us. Um you know, he's basically black sunned us, I think, three times this game, at least twice. So knowing that we uh we're sitting here kind of not looking too pretty. Okay, alchemy. I think that's a smart alchemy. I might have left this open. I don't mind uh, main phase alchemy when you're not really under any type of distress. I think it's good. Uh, it allows you to sift through your deck, and he puts a leak in yard, so he might have like a snapcaster in hand. Okay, we rip another land. We're going to play it out. The reason we're going to play it out is because eventually we want a phoenix. And then we want a phoenix for a lot if we're allowed to. Like right now we could phoenix plus one. Okay, so he's probably going to think twice here. Yep, and he's just refilling his grip. And we're kind of breaking on land. I mean, we did kind of overextend there when we didn't have to. But we were banking on the fact that he wouldn't have the black sun again. Okay, hopefully he does nothing here. I guess he's just going to wait on forbidden alchemy end of my turn. Okay, Porcelain Legionnaire is okay. We're going to try to play it out here. Not much of a threat, but it's okay. Uh, I don't see it living. Especially if he has, you know, anything. I'm going to play out another Wolf Run. Like I said, giving my guy a larger attack is where I'm at right now. Even if he wants to Ghost Quarter. That's fine. All right, I, I would think he's going to alchemy. He might snapcaster tragic slip my guy here, but looks like he's going for the alchemy. Okay, and in response, we could make our guy really big, but we won't just in case. Um, the problem is if he has, like, a Grave Titan or anything, we're really screwed. Jeez, he just chucked four lands, so that was a really good alchemy. Oh, no, Drown Yard. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, we might get lucky here. He might have absolutely no removal in the four cards in his hand. He might have absolutely no Grave Titan. He might not flash that back or play that main phase. Okay, gets rid of it. That's okay. We're uh, still in it, believe it or not. Okay, that's a good one. We're going to use it now. See if it resolves. Might get dissipated. I would think it might. Okay, that's fine. So it gets dissipated, and we are a little bit sad about it, but what can you do? See, that's the problem with cards like Spellbomb, where you can't draw a card off of it in this deck. It's like it would have been great to remove his graveyard there, but not much we could do. Okay, the problem with him drown yarding us is he can put Phoenixes in. A yard. Um, if we do happen to rip a phoenix, then we're good. Or if we do happen to rip burn, we can get our phoenixes back, so that's always nice. Uh, we'll see what we can do. I'm just going to keep playing out land. I mean, if he wants to mill me to death, that's fine by me. Okay, so he's going to drown yard, maybe himself. Let's see. Nope, he's going to alchemy. Okay, that's fine. What's nice about the blue-black control deck is when it's ahead, it's a, it's really ahead. The only saving grace of our deck at the moment is that we have haste creatures. We don't have enough mana to make them amazing, but see what happens here. This might be a Karn or a Grave Titan or a Sphinx. Okay, Sphinx is good. It kind of is really hard for our deck to deal with. Okay, so he's tapping out for Ratchet Bomb. And he's got two mana up, I guess, in case he wants the mana leak. Damn you and your Sphinx taking over the game like that. Okay, we're going to play out of land. 
There's no point in us bluffing. Like I said, I want to make my wolf run freaking gigantic. We haven't seen too many artifacts in his deck, so maybe he doesn't have Ratchet Bomb. He doesn't. I, I mean, he doesn't have Worm Quill. He doesn't have Batter Skull. I'm sure he does though. Okay, so now he's got a clock on us. So that kind of is bad for us. Locks equal hard to deal with. Okay, ouch face. I mean, unless he's got a way to just kill our phoenix, I don't know why he's leaving back a blocker there. Okay, uh, I'm going to respond before he draws two cards. No, I will not let you draw two cards. Okay, we'll uh, try to Volt Charge his face. I'm sure he's got counters for universes. That's a measure of time, right? The whole universe. So, oh, wow. We get to resolve that? Okay. Our phoenix basically is going to die. But we're going to try to make it die a valiant effort here. And our phoenix might just get dissipated. He might not care about the volt charge. Uh, but let's not tap our green source to play our phoenix uh, or our wolf run. Okay, I can wait, um, but it's still not lethal if I waited. Wait, let me see. It actually might have been correct to wait there. I, I can't see how with seven cards in hand he doesn't kill this thing. Alright, yeah, we're going to I mean, we're going to go for it. <laughs> no sense in not going for it. It might have been correct to wait there, because we could have, if some miraculous way, we could have got him down to, you know, like he didn't have a counter spell or a removal spell in the seven card grip he had, then we could have um, potentially hit him for six with our Phoenix. But I would assume, yeah, he has removal. Okay. So we, we had to go for it there. And he'll probably end up, I'd say, milling us here. He's at 26 cards himself, so I would think him milling us is the plan. Okay, we have four turns before we die. Okay, he mills not much of interest. A legionnaire, a noble, and uh, a land. So we have another turn to rip here. We would hope to rip a burn spell. Hopefully a three damage burn spell. Because once this gets to tick up to three, our phoenix just dies. So we're playing to our outs here. And his guy is quite beefy. Alright, let's see if we draw anything of interest. Ooh, that is of interest. Okay, we'll let him refill his hand. And we'll play out our land. No sense in not playing it out. I know it's better to play around at this point, but if we end up somehow, you know, where he doesn't have a big grip, then we're good. Okay, he dumps two burn spells into the yard for us, which, you know, that kind of sucks, but eh, not much you could do about that. I don't, like I said, I don't foresee how we were winning this game early on. We still have two and a half turns, which in Magic is, I guess, called three turns. So this is turn one, then turn two, we have to rip. Man, if only we had like a one of some giant spell. The one of Red Sun Zenith, like we used to be packing. Then that would be good. We have a lot of land, believe it or not. Okay, he plays another Ratchet Bomb. And we'll see. He taps it. Okay, we say okay to that. Why do we have a weird mouse thing? It's 
Sorry about that. Okay, last chance for us, and we rip a land. Uh, we'll play our land. See what he does. He has a bunch of stuff. Um, we might want a traitorous blood here. I don't think it's an amazing card against him. But playing our outs here. If we rip like a Galv Blast, shoot him, get both our Phoenixes back. He somehow doesn't have this to three. He somehow puts the other one to two. You know. Alright, so we get nothing. But we're gonna come out of the gate game three and kick some teeth in. We're we're playing a one more out. Believe it or not, we Hell Rider off the top and no removal in his ten card grip wins us the game. No counters. Can't have counters either. And he actually forgot to tick this up, so I don't know what he's worried about at two. But I think that was a misplay. Not putting it up to Three and two would be good. Oh no, I opened quick play. Damn it, F2. You're supposed to be the good one. Oh, Worm Coil Engine. That's Jerk City. Alright, here comes quick play probably. Alright, let's see what we're playing to. And there's the suspense of the quick play. I apologize. My F keys are like a big F U to me and you. All right, we rip a land, and no sense in making this game prolong. So we'll go to sideboard, bring in some different cards, and try to bash face in. Okay, we'll scoop this one up. Okay, so here we go. We're going to win this. Got confidence. Just got to make sure we uh, sideboard correctly. Come on. All right, here's our sideboarding plan. I don't want the bombs. I think they're too slow. I want the Hell Rider. Get back in here, you nerd. That leaves us with one extra card. We'll take an Ancient Grudge. We'll take another Ancient Grudge. We'll throw those guys in the mix. That puts us at 61 cards. I don't know how much I like the Legionnaires, especially with Tragic Slips. So we're going to cut them, and we'll bring in one Traitorous Blood. All right, and that's how we're going to rock this. I don't love it, but we're going to figure it out. I mean, gut shot's kind of bad. You know what? I think I'm going to take out the gut shot, and we'll go two traitorous bloods. Okay? So thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe, and I'll be bringing you game three right now.